right guys, Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. Today we're out here at El Mirage Dry Lake Bed. You can see there's a, a steady 20 to 22 mile an hour wind with gusts up to 35. And I want to show you this uh, 12 by 12 canopy I picked up off Amazon that I'm going to link before. This thing is incredible guys. I've had so many canopies break out here from this wind and I want to show you this thing. This is a 12 by 12. I've got it set a little lower today. Typically it'll sit up a little higher, but uh, we've got a ton of wind and you can see we have a guide out. You got two guy outs on each corner and I've got some on the windward side here just holding things uh, to keep it a little more sturdy. So on this windward side, obviously we have a couple more guy outs and uh, you can see here this thing is just holding up fantastic. This is a 12 by 12, so it is a massive sail in the wind as opposed to your 10 by 10s. And the reason I'm gonna link this is not to make money. Obviously it doesn't cost anymore, but when you find a good product like this, it's uh, best to kind of review it and show people why it works so well. So uh, number one, you've got straight legs here and the legs don't cantilever out like you see on a lot of the Easy Up brand uh, type canopies that cost more. Number two, they're adjustable, so I don't just have three notches. I can adjust it to whatever height I want. You've got crossbars here that help with support. And up here, you've got this little cross member that you can see here that you can you use to push it up. And that actually adds a lot of uh, structure to the top of the canopy because usually this area is the weakest point. Now, we're pushing this thing well beyond its maximum limit with these 30 mile an hour gusts. So we did, I used a couple of extra cords here to hold these in place and extra guy outs. Why did I do that? Because these free float, you can see up here, these free float on purpose because if there's a strong gust, the canopy can close a little bit and not break and blow in half like most of your other types of canopies do. So on the windward side, I did strengthen that area a little bit because we are pushing this thing well beyond its capacity at these gusts of uh, between 25 and 35 miles an hour. As you can see, we're sustaining a lot of wind. And because of the setup, we're probably one of the only canopies out here in the desert that hasn't blown over yet. I've yet to see another canopy that hasn't lost its top while ours is still freestanding. So I'm gonna link this guys, it's on Amazon, it's under 200 bucks, it comes with guy outs, and it also comes with these nifty pouches. I have mine holding my radio here because we're listening to the races here at El Mirage, but uh, these you can fill with sand or water, you can put them down at the base, and they help hold it down um, to the ground and keep everything structurally sound. We also have everything pegged out and using truckers hitches some guy outline but this this uh, shelter does come with uh, four guy outlines that go in the corners uh, however you're going to want to add some more if you are going to use something in high wind situations like this so still standing it shouldn't be and that's why i'm videoing it it's a great product you can check it out in the links below if you want to buy one from me or if you just want to go on amazon i'll also just link it uh, without an affiliate link as well so that'll be up to you all right guys, Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. We'll see ya.